Don't you know what goes on in your town at night? Night. Night. night? Things are not what they seem. <laughs> Many atrocities have happened in the past and many tortured souls lie between here and the ever after. The people of Whitley Town have many tales to tell. I was just walking home from work, the weirdest thing happened. The next thing we heard, the horses. I went straight back into the tower, was terrified. That was a very, very strange thing to see. This is not supposed to happen! You must be listening. Or else you may become a tortured soul. <laughs> Most residents would venture along melancholy lane after dark. 1641. A priest and his entire congregation massacred on that very place. Such was the violence on that dark day. It was recorded in the history books that blood flowed down the lane like a river. Taxi drivers beware of lonely destinations. Your mind may play tricks on you, or does it? We were at a dance and Jerry had let off his taxi fare in Ratnew. Right, Shirley, thank you for the glove. Come up by the chapel, into the hollow, the hollow of Scully's Hill, where the car stalled. I got out to have a look under the bonnet. You were fiddling around with the, whatever you were doing, I don't know. But the next thing we heard, horses were coming down, going down the road. They were kind of a gallop, it could have been one or two horses. I don't know, I didn't know. I was too afraid. We were expecting this horse or horses as close to the car. And yet we didn't see anything. Nothing. Not a thing. Many women from another age still inhabit the town at night. Down on the pier, Fishermen tell of a presence. They feel the hairs on the back of their neck stand up. We presume she was lost at sea. One poor unfortunate fellow actually saw Our Lady of the New Pair. He was never quite right after that. She means no harm, but that's not the case with hard walking. Never meet her in Crinian Park, or you'll vanish. <laughs> My grand told me about hard work, didn't I thought it was just a bedtime story. One day we were playing soccer down at the park, and that's when we saw him. And someone kicked the ball in. He got the ball, she must have got him because he just froze there. So we all had to run up and try pull him in. The deadliest apparition of them all is the White Lady of High Street. If you have the misfortune of seeing this menacing ghoul, you have but three days to put your affairs in order because on the fourth, you will be visited by the Grim Reaper. One night, many 
many years ago, a young man was on his way home through Marcus Square. And suddenly, stopped in his tracks. The weirdest thing happened. And, I don't know, I couldn't move. And all these things started going through my body. They're kind of like just murky ghosts. Took the wind right out of my sails. It's something I'll remember forever. These visitors from the other side still sense a shiver down their spine where I stand. Really disconcerting to say the least, you know, it's not something you expect to see at half six in the morning on the road. It was pretty early hours of the morning, maybe around 6.30 or so. And we just turned the corner at the graveyard just down here. We actually seen it was basically a, a disembodied sprite or half a ghost, if, if, if you want to call it that. I just turned to Maeve and said, you know, did you see that? And she said, yeah, we've just driven to My attitude was to say a prayer to God for the spirit. I couldn't stop. I knew I couldn't stop. And I knew I wasn't going to do any harm by driving through it. So that was the best I could come up with. Still haven't found an explanation for it yet, all these years later. Do you feel safe in Wicklow Town? Even though it is clearly haunted? It's up to you, but take my advice. Should you happen to encounter someone or something unearthly, I suggest you greet the apparition with good evening. You must never, ever, on any occasion, say, can I help you? Doing so leads to a world, another grisly world of trouble.